<laughs> for a second. I see you. Here I am. There you go. Okay, looks like you're all uh, <laughs> you're all uh, boosted and everything, right? I am boosted and everything, and too, um, and man. I think, I, just I, think I think Zoom conversations are maybe <laughs> safe without masks, so I decided to risk it. You know. Oh, we never know, right? No, never know. Never know. <laughs> yeah. <point. laughs> all right, man. It's good to see you, Mason. Good to see you too, man. Thanks for the invite to talk. You're very welcome, and I know you're on a short schedule, so I'll. Uh... I'll get it get it started here. How have you been? I've been doing great, you know, just um keeping keeping busy uh with just different endeavors and trying to make the best of a really really weird time to be a musician. Tell me about it, man. I I've got some questions around that. <laughs> some, yeah. some weird questions go right with that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so good to uh to catch you, man, at uh at this moment. How's your family? How's uh, uh Sarah Renee doing? She's doing great. My wife Sarah's, you know, doing very well, and um, and so is our cat Wesley, also doing great, enjoying our company. So uh, we'll see if he decides to bless us with his presence here today. Absolutely, yeah, possible. is the is possible? Is the cat sick of you guys yet? Is he like, come on, get out of the house, go do something? <laughs> Some days it feels that way, yeah. But uh, but that's you know, that's been fine. It's um, it's been okay. No, I think we're really lucky to be in a position where. Uh, you know where so many people have suffered over the past couple of years and so mm -hmm. we're, we're very fortunate to be able to be doing okay so that's good that's good ladies and gentlemen of the drive through we're having a conversation with mason rosabi we're going to cover a few things this morning so mason welcome my brother welcome to the drive through thank you sir thanks for having me all right let's start off with uh what have you been up to well, let me let me read your bio. I actually got in touch with your bio here, and I want to share that with him because I thought that was pretty phenomenal. Give me a second here. All right, so this bio, and I'm sure you've heard it a million times, so I'm gonna just hit some of the highlights. Mason Rosavi, jazz guitarist, growing uh, growing profile in the South Bay, San Francisco Bay Area, and beyond. Based in San Jose, California, his group has performed at many festivals and and events including uh, SF Jazz, San Jose Jazz, Bach, Bach Dancing and Dynamite, and Bay Area Jazz Clubs. And his music is played worldwide because they definitely can catch it here on the drive-thru. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move right into, he is an avid educator. He is adjunct professor at West Valley College. He gives lectures, jazz guitar instructor. He has taught at Chabot College, De Anza, Los Positos, and Mission College, and maintains a private studio. So if you're looking for lessons, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to catch his website. We'll be talking about that. Rosavi holds an MA in music with a concentration in jazz studies from San Jose State University and a BM from Berkeley, and where he has majored in contemporary writing and production. And as a matter of fact, we were listening to some of that writing and production um, on the intro here. So brother, what's new? Give us a snapshot. Well, the snapshot is that, um... I um, had the good fortune of uh, receiving a grant last year from the, the Rotary Club, uh, the Lee Weimer's Emerging Artist Award, and uh, that put me in a position to uh, be able to record a, uh, an album, um, which uh, is uh, planning to be a solo guitar album. So uh, late in the year last year, I went into the studio and did some recording, and I've been spending my January kind of going through the tracks and figuring out what ends up with those things. Um, I've also got a great concert coming up uh, with San Jose Jazz at their Winterfest. Um, and we can talk about that if you'd like. Have some great performers, a couple of special guests on that one. We have um, uh, Josh Nelson on piano from LA and uh, the great Charles McNeil on saxophone joining us from Vegas, uh, along with Dan Robbins and Jason Lewis. And that's going to be happening on uh, February 12th at the Break Room venue. That's San Jose Jazz's. Um, headquarters basically in downtown San Jose and it's also live streaming um, so have that to look forward to and um, and yeah you know just that, that between that and teaching and just other kind of opportunities that have been popping up uh, things have been good you know I've had to get creative in the pandemic and have been grateful to have some opportunities through um, Art Boutique which has been a great venue who's embraced the live streaming setup um, they did that really right at the beginning of the pandemic um, San Jose Jazz has been great, of course, and um, and yeah, and you know, working on a lot of solo guitar, which is something that I've been wanting to dig into for a long time. Um, and you know, I gotta say, it's like you know, trying to plan for this 
this year and trying to plan for things to happen and knowing that at the same time those plans could go totally sideways at any time. So uh, kind of a weird, weird moment. But um, anyway, like I said, just trying to make the best of it all. Well, man, um, I've been seeing some of your videos show up on YouTube and Facebook, et cetera, with different links. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your website and where people can see some of those videos. Yeah, my website is masonrazavi.com. That's M-A-S-O-N-R-A-Z-A-V-I.com. And if you just search my name, you'll find me on um, YouTube. And um, I like Instagram a lot. And then I have, I have a Facebook page, too. Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've gotten a pretty good setup dialed in for, um, well, for, for audio and for video um, that I've been using for uh, teaching, but also to make... Uh, you know, little videos to put online, uh, which has just been a way to share some music with people in this strange time and also to just kind of keep the chops together a little bit and, and also learning more about putting together audio and video. Um, I also, over the past year, put together a handful of um, like video lessons with PDFs and videos that I've produced in here and everything um, that are up for sale through my website too. And so just, yeah, trying to use all the toys I got and uh, try to, you know, stay positive and, and do some things that are productive, you know. That's awesome. Well, I, I would definitely say you're staying innovative. Uh, trying to. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think the big silver lining of all this is, you know, one day we're going to be past this pandemic and all these artists and also venues and organizations will have already invested all this time and energy into make, having these live streaming setups. Mm -hmm. And I really think that that is going to be a great thing going forward that kind of, we were already heading in that direction a little bit. There were some people doing that, some venues doing that, but now it's, you know, because it became a matter of survival for a lot of people, we're all set up for it. And so I think that's going to be a, a cool thing kind of going forward. Um, and I have to say it'll also have its issues because, you know, one thing I've been thinking of is who owns any of this stuff, you know, mm -hmm. it gets live streamed everywhere all the time. And so there'll be some issues with that. But I think there's a big silver lining in, you know, artists, venues and organizations that, that do music and arts in general, figuring out how to use technology to reach a broader audience. You know, I really think that's going to be the future. Yeah, that's that's funny, because uh, there was a question I was going to ask. What has the pandemic taught you? And how can you, you know, via all the technology and everything, but yet we're so distant from one another? Yeah. How can you or, or do you have a role to play in making the planet better or making that experience better? Yeah, well, that's a big question. Um, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head with the, the fact this technology brings us closer together and yet in some ways farther apart. I think there's a tremendous opportunity for misunderstanding and I could talk at length about, you know, social media and, and the toxic side of it. Mm -hmm. But I will say that um, it, there's a lot of potential to harness all this energy and technology in a, in a positive direction. I think, you know, you asked me what I've learned. Well, one thing I've learned is that, you know, the best part of this business is the people. And the people aren't going away. And the people really come out and support. You know, um, I did a solo guitar concert live streaming concert for san jose jazz last summer i think that was the first thing i did during the pandemic and i was totally floored by all the people that tuned in and um you know and, and supported it you know it was almost like shocking yeah. and um and i think people are hungry to support the arts uh mm -hmm. in general in this time and to support live music in this time i think people have a renewed appreciation for the role that music plays in their lives in this time where we have fewer options. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I've, I've learned a lot of those things um, that, that I think are encouraging. I think it's, I think that the hardest part I think is trying to, trying to um, work with people that have all different thoughts and ideas and people of all different backgrounds and, and attempt to be patient with each other as we all kind of stumble through this together and people that have different, um, you know, beliefs and different comfort levels and, and try to figure this, this thing out. Um, I know one of the very challenging things right now is, you know, what exactly are the guidelines for putting on a live show? Mm. It's really hard. Like we don't really know. It's like, do you check for vaccines? Do you not? Is there distancing? Mm -hmm. Are there masks? Um, how much of that is like, 
you know, right. w just how do you handle that aspect of it? And then even with all that, are the artists comfortable playing in those situations? Are audiences comfortable coming out? Um, in the past, I think I could get a good idea of, okay, if I, if I do a show at this time with this much space around it at this venue, I could probably have a pretty good night. Now, yeah. I don't know. Like if you do a show that's both live streaming and in person, well, yeah. does the live streaming, is that going to mean that less people will come out or that people wouldn't come out anyway would tune in? Like we just don't know any of these things. So I think it's going to take a little bit of, we have to wait and see. And I really think in a year or two, when we've had kind of enough opportunity to really try this stuff out and figure things out, we'll have a better idea. But all I'll say about it is this. I, I posted something about this uh, you know, months ago. There's a tiny microscopic creature called a tardigrade. Right? Sometimes they're called water bears. And scientists have tried everything. They've tried to kill these guys by set blasting them into space, throwing them in boiling water, everything. And they just can't. You can't kill these things. And musicians were like that. We're like water bears. We're tardigrades. You know, you absolutely cannot kill us. We just we will always find a way to survive. We will figure it out. You could, you know, shoot us into the Himalayas or out of space or whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll figure out a way. And so um, and that's, you know, if you're a creative person, you got to put on that creative person hat and just try to, like, figure these things out. You know, I like that, Mason. Yeah. I like that. And and I would I would uh, paraphrase to say that that applies to artists, not just musicians. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone's rethinking their stuff. I mean, I look at, you know, we're in Silicon Valley, right? You look at all these businesses that are going, well, do people come back to work <laughs> or do they not? Do they ever come back to work right. or do they just stay home? Do some people come? Some people like it's just nobody knows. You know, I hear you, man. There's, there's no playbook for any of this, you know. There's so, yeah. So I've, you know, I, um, you know, I've learned some things about myself, too. You know, man, okay. I, I got to say this is that, you know, it's not easy to be a musician, of course, in some ways. Um, and I've definitely had to stop and ask myself, like, what is, what am I doing? Like, what is the point of all this? And I think that I've had a real surge of energy from answering cool. that question, because for me, it's like, why am I doing all this? It's really just that I want to get better. Okay. And, and that's really it. I just want to be a better artist. And I think that's as good of a cause to commit wow. yourself to as anything, you know, and, I'm like, you know, if gigs come, they go, you know, whatever happens. Ha like the thing that's important to me is that I just spend as much time as I can with this thing. Yeah. And, and just like, you know, just try to improve just every day, try to get a little teeny bit better than I was the day before. And that's really, that's the point of, of the whole thing to me. So, um, and that's given me a big boost of energy, you know, to really just spend time on the instrument and try to figure out, you know, ways to, put together more music and, and all that stuff. Well, that's, that's, that's great, Mason. That's great, man. Cause you're, you're opening up windows for me to see myself through. You know? Well, that's great, man. And I appreciate everything that you're doing and um, you're helping keep the music alive. And, you know, you've always got a great positive energy every time I see you. And that's, man, that's totally uh well, I guess infectious is probably not the best word to use right now, but it, uh, <laughs> it's infectious <laughs> in a good way. I appreciate it. Yeah. Spreading, spreading love and good vibes, man. Yeah. You well, know? you're doing that. You're doing that. So I appreciate you. And I know the musical community here appreciates you. So thanks for everything that you're doing to keep this music going in this uh, weird time. You're very welcome, brother. So on that note, what is your website and where can people find out more information about you? Sure. Uh, MasonRazavi.com. That's M-A-S-O-N-R-A-Z-A-V-I.com. Um, you can also find me on instagram or on my facebook artist page um or on youtube i also have a mailing list on my website and yeah i hope i hope you know i really hope people come out and check out this uh, san jose jazz concert on february 12th with a couple of great special guests josh nelson from la and charles mcneil from vegas on piano and sax respectively that's going to be uh i can already tell it's just going to be an awesome evening so um and that's a, in person and also live streaming so whatever people are comfortable with and hopefully I'll have a, a new solo guitar album I'm, I'm shooting for an April or May uh, release. So um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Right now I'm going through and listening to all the takes and, you know, checking things out, doing some editing and mixing and figuring out what's going on with that. So, so yeah, I hope uh, people are into it. And anybody who wants to check out what I'm doing musically, um, you can find me on the Internet. That's awesome, brother. And I'll be looking forward to, to that release and I'll be checking some of those videos in advance. <laughs>
And, and we're going to be wrapping it up here because you, you've you nailed just about every question I was going to ask you, except one, I, you know, you can never go for it. You, you'll never know what you're going to get on the what drive. Is the meaning, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> world life. peace. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me give you a few quick thoughts on world peace. You know? yeah, totally. As we go to war, right? <laughs> I hope not. No. Brother, you've been cooking up any dishes, any good dishes lately? Food. You know, I Man. love food. Yeah. You know, it's funny that you ask because one thing I've gotten into is home cooking steak. Okay. Uh, I'm not a cook, you know. I don't cook food. My lovely wife, Sarah, is a wonderful cook. She does a lot of cooking. And um, and I, I just, you know, recently figured out that, you know, you can cook a steak pretty good at home. You know, mm -hmm. I know that's not news to a lot of people, but... Um, For but, musicians, yeah. it could be, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah and so so i don't know i don't have any fancy recipes man i you know with a good steak i just want to taste the steak so i just been marinating with salt and pepper and olive oil mm -hmm. and I do a little pan sear and cast iron and then throw it in the oven for a few yeah. minutes and it is it's really pretty incredible you know do you flip it before you put it in the oven or do you just leave I it do. on that I, okay. I do that, yeah so i sear it on one side for maybe three or four minutes flip nice. it over and then yep. just get sucker in the oven for eight to ten minutes 450 and it, and it's pretty normal. Boom. Ah, this, is, this is big news for me see my my idea of cooking is like fixing a bowl of cereal or a peanut butter sandwich or something <laughs> so uh simply putting a piece of meat in a pan and sticking in the oven is like uh you know i, I think i'm like you know uh, i don't know a guy fieri or something you know? yes and to I get it out on I just need it, the frosted tips to go along with. I've got yes. the body. I got the body type of guy here. I just need the frosted tips, and I'll be in business. You know. Hey, hey man. Sometimes it just feels good to get the thing out on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No kidding. No kidding. You know, but you know, it's been important to to figure that out too, man. Just because of like, you know, we're staying at home all the time, so just trying yeah. to stay healthier. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, we can try and go out and get a little, you know, walks, a little bit of uh, running and lifting things and eating a little better and trying to keep that going. Keep your physical health going your mental health going all that stuff so actually it's that's actually kind of an important question <laughs> oh cool brother yeah all right well definitely i want to congratulate you on the being the recipient of the lay weimer's emerging artist award that grant man that's awesome brother you yeah know. let me say a quick thing about that i'm just really grateful to the rotary club uh for picking me for that um they picked uh, myself and um three other really wonderful artists uh as well and um it, it's just a great opportunity and you know, here in Silicon Valley, it's just nice to have an organization like that that's that's wanting to support artists in the area who are out here trying to do the thing. You know, so um, anyway, I know they always have a lot of a lot of applicants, and um, yeah, it was really an honor to be chosen for that award and um, and to be uh, for the award to be named after Lee Weimers, who I never got to know, but who apparently was a journalist in the area who really supported the arts in a big way in Silicon Valley. Um, you know, it means something to me to be connected to that legacy in some way, you know, so it was a real, uh, real privilege to get that. And, I, and that to me is, um, that was really, was really nice. So definitely. And, and you deserve it, brother. Thank you, sir. I appreciate oh, that. All right. So we're going to let you go. I know you have big things you need to do, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nice round of applause for Mason Razavi. I know. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And you always hear the music here on the drive through Mason, we appreciate you. Uh, give my best to your wife and um, all blessings to you, brother. More than likely, I'll see you downtown at the uh, San Jose Jazz Winter Fest. Excellent. Back at you, brother. Thanks so much for the, the uh, interview. You're welcome. Thank you, Mason. All right. Okay. Bye-bye, brother.